Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to the Quasi Guru Twitch channel. I'd like to, uh, I'm glad to uh, say today that we're going to be making a flight from uh, KGYY, uh, which is Gary Chicago Airport, to KCGX, which no longer exists. But make sure you uh, go ahead and uh, download the uh, airport uh, found at the link that I'm about to drop into the chat here. Go ahead and head over there, download the free version of the airport, uh, go ahead and throw it in your community folder, and we'll go ahead and get started here just as shortly as, as we possibly can. Um, I'm grateful to have everybody in here with us today. Um, I know we got David Scott, I got 1480 in here, got Zelda Leverett showed up, uh, we also have Countryman51 that decided to uh, follow us today, so welcome everybody, welcome back to the stream. Um, we're going to go get, get started here shortly, but before we do that, previously on the Quasi Guru Twitch channel. Do they have a mixed field add-on? Preface <gasps> have not yet. Nesto posted a link not too long ago in the chat. Take a look at that, uh, download it, and put it in your FS2020 community folder. I'm thinking the next flight or the next group flight, we're gonna be flying at mix. Uh, so whether that's next Monday or whether that may be sooner, um, we may do that on Wednesday or something, but, uh, Migs Field in Chicago. That is some cool stuff. Uh, you want to talk about an airport that literally used to be right by, right by, right by downtown. I mean, JFK is close to New York, right? But it's not that close. Um... Migs Field is a lot closer than JFK is to the city. So, folks, if you can, um, feel free to grab that, especially if you want to, you know, do some later group flights with uh, with me on the on this channel. Uh, Migs Field is. All right, everybody, welcome back. Let's go ahead and get started here. All right. So we're on uh, the USA East server over in. Uh, K over at KGYY and Gary Airport, uh, make sure that you have all players selected, turn off traffic, uh, and let's go ahead and just set weather for clear skies so we can actually enjoy the flight today. Uh, folks, we're going to be making our flight today from uh, Gary Chicago Airport to Miggs Field in Chicago, which uh, got, I believe, torn down in 2004. A lot of people were very upset about that. I'm sure David Scott was as well. Uh, he told me yesterday that he did... Um, some of his initial training there too. So folks, um, welcome back to the Quasi Guru Twitch channel. I'm glad that you'll be able to join me tonight for the stream. Um, and let's try to make this an enjoyable flight, right? So we'll do Gary Chicago to uh, Makes Field, and then we'll probably head up to Kosh maybe for our little own mini air show before we end the stream tonight. Uh, if anybody has any suggestions uh, for future suggestions, do make sure that you go ahead and drop into our Discord. Um, and give us any future suggestions that you would like to see uh, coming from the channel. It's because of viewers like you why we can go ahead and continue to do things like this. Uh, do remember, if you're enjoying the flight, consider clicking that follow button so you'll get notified before we depart. And welcome back, Ernesto. Wonderful. Oh, you've never flown her in real life. Okay, I gotcha. Yes, I, I always flew it in uh, the simulator myself, so I always flew it in uh, Flight Sim 98, so... Uh, I definitely miss seeing that airport. Uh, I'm definitely missing seeing that airport. So, you know, I, I did load it up yesterday. Um, I added a little bit of it from the my intro scene there and uh, what you'll see at my outro scene. So uh, it's really gorgeous. I'm really grateful that we're going to be uh, seeing an airport I haven't seen in a very, very long time. All right, folks. Well, if you'd like to join in, please make sure you join in. David Scott, you're more than welcome. Uh, folks, if you drop into the Discord channel, you can drop into the Quasi Guru live stream voice channel, and you will be part of the live stream voice. So feel free to jump in, and uh, we'll definitely have an enjoyable flight here.
over at over at Gary, I'm parked at parking space, I believe, 97, I believe, or 99. So if you guys want to join me over here in this area, that'd be totally fine. But yeah, take a look at the uh, Cessna 120, the Cessna 172 with the G1000 Garmin suite. Uh, today we are rocking the black and pink livery found in the Mega Livery Pack. Okay, so Canesto, you're over at Mixfield, huh? Awesome, awesome. And it uh, looks like we've got uh, East USA server selected for everybody, right? David Scott, you going to come join us in the sim? I'm going to go ahead and get this Cessna fired up. So we'll go ahead and turn on the alternate battery and battery switched on. Okay. Wait till that fires up. Let's put the yoke away for just a minute so we can actually do some work here. Fuel pump to on. And we'll go ahead and turn to start. All right, we're currently started. Turn on both avionics buses. And we'll go ahead and press the rightmost soft key to continue. All right, folks, it looks like we are up now officially. All right, we'll go ahead and keep that fuel pump on for now. Let's go ahead and start getting everything else fired up. We'll turn on our beacon light. Our taxi lights, our nav lights, our strobe lights. And to keep my phone charged, let's make sure we go ahead and turn on the cabin power for the 12 volt, right? Well, you know what, Canesto, I'll tell you what, at least you're actually starting to operate again and everything's starting to work again. So, you going to be streaming tonight as well? Yeah, I don't know where 14's at. I saw 14 pop in here. I'm waiting for him to pop in again, so... Yeah, 14 AD. Um, I dropped the link there in the chat again. It's KCGX. I'm going to drop it in there again so we can make sure everybody has it. Okay, excellent. Excellent. We're almost there then. Wonderful. So the flight from Gary is actually a pretty short flight getting over into Chicago. We're only going to be looking at maybe at max uh, probably a... 15 uh, minute flight into Chicago, 15, 20 minutes, and then uh, we'll land at Mixfield Field and uh, be able to enjoy some of the scenery we'll be able to see there. So I think we'll definitely have an enjoyable time there at Mix. Um, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get pushback from this fuel box. Well, it looks like I'm not even going to get a pushback request. It looks like I just did shift P and they're pushing me already. So, And I see 14 AD sitting over here as well. He's also in a Cessna 172. I guess everybody, welcome back to the stream today. This is our second stream now since we went affiliate. Um, and uh, we're definitely having a lot of fun. Um, we're doing something that, you know, I never thought would necessarily be possible. We're going to be flying to mixed field today. So, and welcome whoever just joined the Discord. I just heard somebody pop in. Who's that? Oh, okay, there we go. We got 14 AD here in the Discord now. Hey, how goes it? Hey, it's going pretty good. How's it going for you? Too bad. Just wrapped up work. Awesome, awesome. How are you doing today? Oh, you know, living the dream, trying to at least. And uh, we're going to go uh, fly the dream now because, you know, I haven't seen, uh, haven't seen Miggs Field since FS98, so. Yeah, I'm pumped. Yeah, it's a really gorgeous airport. It literally sits right on Lake Michigan, um, right by the city of Chicago. So we're going to be able to see the Chicago skyline. Go enjoy some of the views that you would normally see over in Chicago. So, all right, 14. I'm glad you've been able to join us tonight. And uh, we're going to go ahead and enjoy this flight. So, Canesto, are you staying over there at Makes then for now? Uh, no, I just had to restart my sub. Okay, you're all good. You're all good. Yeah, feel free to join us here at uh, Gary. And like I said, it'll be a really short flight over to Mixfield. Field. Um, I believe earlier I did see something as far as charts go for Mixfield Field too. So I'm going to see if I can pull those old charts up real quick. Nice.
This is the airport that's by the, or that was by the planetarium, right? Yeah, it's literally just south of Adler Planetarium, south of Adler Planetarium, and uh, south of the uh, Shed, uh, uh, Shedler Aquarium. So. That's right. Yeah, now they have like, um, they have that sports arena there now, and that music venue also, I think, is also there. Well, the arena's been there the entire time. So um, the sports oh. the sports arena being the Chicago Bears Stadium, that's been yeah. there the entire time. Um, the only thing that's different now is it's just that, you know, Miggs Field is basically gone. And there we go. We got David Scott there taxing, taxing down, uh, I believe this is uh, Alpha here at Gary. But David Scott, if you would like, feel free to join into the Discord uh, Quasi Guru live stream voice channel, and uh, you can make sure your voice is heard on here too. So, you know, I, I think this is definitely a whole bunch of nostalgia for a lot of us right now. Um, David Scott and me, especially since we did a lot of flying in simulators at Miggs Field. So, Miggs Field was kind of one of those default airports that you would get as an option in older simulators. And, uh, you know, older simulators, we really didn't have much of a chance to grow so much from i mean yeah we might be able to install airplanes but it wasn't very common that we would actually have access to installing um different scenery as far as airports go so you know the one positive thing i see you know as we keep advancing through uh through technology and software is, is that you know we keep getting things that just seem to be better and better as they age so uh you know fs 2020 is a wonderful simulator and you know we're starting to see things you know in the simulator that you know, a long time ago, you know, existed, and now they don't anymore. Um, I know the people of Chicago were also very upset that uh, Miggs Field got torn down as well. So it was one of those things, though, I guess the airport was starting to deteriorate some, and it wasn't being upkept like it should have been. Um, but Miggs Field, though, uh, I think we'll all have a good time there tonight. All right, sounds good, David Scott. Sounds good. Just take your time. And we'll wait. We'll wait for Canesta before we take off too. All This morning you break out. Oh, you're totally fine. So how's everyone's night been going? Mm, uh, I had lunch. Kind of. <laughs> uh, the mic is, it's happening again. Probably only happening on Discord. Um, I noticed that it's seems to be an issue with Discord only. It's not happening in OBS. I'll repeat that. Sorry, Canesto. So it seems to only be happening in Discord. It's not happening in OBS at all. Mm, I see. Is it, uh, is it just push to talk is the issue? Well, no, I have push to talk set up, but for some odd reason, my volume levels bouncing all over the place with him uh, on Discord. Oh, weird. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get my, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get my GPS set up here so that we have the waypoints at least then, or at least one waypoint at a time here. So go ahead and we will select KCGX for our first location.
There we go. Got mixed field. Uh, got mixed field punched in here. So I'll go ahead and accept that. We'll activate that route. Well, you know what? If you decide to go inverted canesto, you're definitely more than welcome to. Uh, I know you said you loaded back in, but I do not see you here on the ground at KGYY. Um, are you on USA East? Oh, uh, I'm spawning in right now. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, you know, Canesto does tend to go inverted a lot. Um, now that he got his development mod version of Fly-By-Wire back, he can go inverted again. The experimental version was giving him issues yesterday. We might have to go ahead and fly some traffic patterns around here at Gary until Canesto's out. Now this airport here at Gary is actually pretty popular for uh, private jets to fly into. Um, there is also UPS service here at the Gary airport. Um, the whole purpose of uh, the private jets, well, the whole purpose of uh, private jets flying in and out of here, juxtaposed to maybe flying in and out of, let's say, um, uh, Chicago O'Hare, or um, heading over to uh, Midway Airport is... Chicago O'Hare and Midway both are much larger airports. Their fuel prices are a lot higher. Not only that, but sometimes it takes a lot longer to get to go where you want to go in Chicago. So a lot of people tend to just come into uh, a lot of people just t tend to come into uh, Gary Chicago uh, Airport instead of going all the way into the city. All right, 14, 14, come on on the runway with us. Let's go and make this a fly to three departure and we'll uh, go ahead and just fly some traffic patterns until Canesto's ready. Sounds good. All right, folks, here we go. Power's coming up. We'll get the ground roll going. Parking brakes are off, and here we go. This is why I really wish I had a set of rudder pedals, I'm not going to lie, especially when you're fly flying prop planes, because uh, that pull to the left is just insane at times, so... Welcome back, Mr. Pilot222. Uh, welcome, uh, welcome and thank you for joining us. Uh, on our flight here, uh, we're going to be flying a little bit of traffic pattern work while Canesto gets back into the simulator uh, here at the Gary uh, Chicago Airport. And then after that, uh, we will be flying um, over to uh, Merrill C. Miggs Field in Chicago, Illinois. Uh, it used to be there uh, back in 2004. It ended up getting uh, torn down by the city of Chicago. I really wish they would have established it as a historical airport. Um, unfortunately, they did not. Uh, with that being said, uh, Flight Sim 2020 and a developer decided to go ahead and make an add-on to add the airport back in. So now we have the airport sitting literally um, right next to the city, just like it used to. So kind of beautiful. All right, folks. And right now, currently, we're flying over Klein Avenue. That's Indiana 912 um, here in Gary, Indiana. I'm going to go ahead and start my uh, down. I'm going to go ahead and start my... Uh, Start my downwind turn here uh, to get in to uh, go ahead and fly the traffic pattern here at Gary. And if I had Navigraph, I would actually be able to tell you uh, if it's left traffic or right traffic out of here at Gary. I'm pretty sure it's, I think if I remember right, it's left, but I'm not 100% on that. So, and there we go. We got Canesto up in the air. So. We'll go ahead and fly one quick uh, traffic pattern here around Gary, and then after that we will uh, land. We'll do a touch and go, and then uh, we will head straight over to Migs Field. Oh, 
you're totally okay, Mr. Pilot. So uh, just to let you know, we're currently um, over at uh, Gary Chicago Airport, which we're about 15 to 20 minutes away from uh, Makesfield in Chicago. Uh, Makesfield in Chicago ended up getting uh, getting demolished back in, I believe, 2004 by the city of Chicago. It should have been established as a historical airport. It was not, however. Um, but it is one of the most awesome airports that used to exist in the U.S. because it was literally right on Lake Michigan, um, right next to downtown Chicago. Um, you know, a lot of people think JFK is cool to fly into because you see the skyline. You don't see the skyline like you do. Um, over in the city of Chicago. So it's really cool, you know, to see that we've actually got um, we, we've actually got these airports that are coming in like this. All right, folks, I'm going to make my left base turn here for uh, runway uh, 30 here at Gary. I'm going to go ahead and start slowing it down, too. As we begin to make our final turn. Runway 30, Gary. Let's see if we can get a nice little buttery smooth landing. And uh, after that, we'll just do a quick touch and go and we'll uh, head straight in to, um, we'll, we'll make straight into uh, Makesfield in Chicago. All right, and I got flaps full now. A little bit fast in the Cessna, but you know what, we'll, uh, We'll end up putting it down and buttering it anyway, right? Just like uh, we always do. Welcome, whoever else has joined the stream. Uh, we're currently flying in, uh, flying from Gary Chicago Airport to uh, Mixfield in Chicago. It no longer exists, but thank you to the wonderful uh, developers uh, that are developing for FS 2020. Uh, we do now have a copy of Mixfield uh, that does exist that you can pick up for free. Um, if you would like a copy to the link of where to get it at, uh, feel free to... Uh, to ask for it in the chat, we'll go ahead and drop it in there. And uh, if you'd like to join us, feel free. We're on the USA East server, currently at KGYY. And we will be heading uh, straight over to Makesfield in Chicago right now. We'll land there. Uh, we'll go and circle around the airport. Um, probably not do a touch and go. We'll enjoy the city a little bit. Uh, but we'll go ahead and do a full stop at uh, Chicago MIGS and uh, just look around the airport, maybe do some drone footage. And then uh, we'll head on out and... Uh, maybe do a little bit more touring of the city of Chicago. All right, we are back up in the air, folks. We are back up in the air, and there's Canesto flying that A320. He uh, definitely, you know, he's got the climbing power. I do not have that right now, so. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and make a direct over to Mix. Um, the best way to do it, honestly, is instead of just making direct over to Mix, um, we'll go ahead and follow Laken. Um, I know I programmed it in the GPS. Really, there's no need for that. Um, but we can just follow the edge of the lake um, all the way into Chicago. So just ride that lake shoreline the entire time and uh, Mixfield will come into sight. Also, just throwing it out there, but uh, we did have a couple more subscribers that popped in from yesterday after the stream. Uh, we had Savo70 and Chris Alcox, so welcome uh, new followers. I'm glad to have you on board with us. Um, I'm glad to see that you will be notified before we depart. Um, if you guys haven't already also, feel free to drop an exclamation mark Discord into the chat, and you'll also get access to our Discord server. Um, just make sure in the Discord server, that you read the rules and follow the instructions because you're going to need to click on that emote uh, in order to get access to the rest of the server. If you're also interested in being able to uh, fly uh, with us today and you want to be, you want your voice to be heard on stream, feel free to connect to the Discord server and open up the Quasi Guru live stream voice channel. You know, Canesto, I still don't know how you um, how you fly that A320 so slow. I mean, like, right now I'm at, like, 114 knots. I, I know you guys can see that, but, you know, either way, though, right?
Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's some sort of magic going on there. All right, folks, I'm going to go ahead and uh, slow it down just a little bit. Let 14 and David Scott get caught up here. We're going to enjoy the uh, scenery here coming into the city of Chicago. Um, you know, as far as I'm concerned, uh, I've driven truck around the most of the United States, and I'll tell you this. I still think Chicago has one of the most beautiful skylines out there. Um, you know, a lot of people argue saying, you know, that's uh, Manhattan in New York City, but um, I don't know. There's something about Chicago, right? Chicago is in a very small space as far as the major city goes, as far as the skyscrapers go. Um, you can go, you know, from one end of, you know, downtown Chicago to another in probably five to seven miles. Um, it's very, very small. Yeah, he's, you know, he's, canesto has got some sort of voodoo control over that uh, A320. I mean, you know, I, I see him got, I see he's got that pitch up, you know, he's like pitching like he's a Cessna, you know, to maintain speed or something, but, uh. It's pretty impressive, the control he's got over that aircraft right now. Now, of course, you guys will probably see some uh, some issues here in the city of Chicago. I do know uh, when I first got into flying on FS-2020, there are some ground issues, especially on roads. Um, I know it's pretty common almost anywhere you go, but I really wish they would address that in some sort of world update, uh, but they haven't yet. Um, I think, you know, at some point, I found out uh, by looking over the change log for uh, MIGS Field, uh, MIGS Field actually has, um, they were making a comment about making something more compatible with some of the Chicago uh, scenery POIs. So I guess there's another add-on we can always throw in too for the city of Chicago so that we'll actually be able to see those as well. So um, I will tell you this, for the most part, the city of Chicago is pretty well intact. Um, most of the buildings are there. So, you know, we'll do a quick tour of the city of Chicago after we do our full stop at MIGS. Um, still really impressed, Canesto, that you're able to get that A320 down on the ground at MIGS. It is not a very long runway, that's for sure. Yeah, you know, it's um, it's one of those things. I mean, I, I, I know you tend to pull off those uh, Swiss 001 landings, so uh, I don't know what he's been teaching you, but I want to learn some of that, too. Now, we are not too far out from uh, MIGS. We'll probably be about another, at this speed, maybe uh, four or five minutes. Um, but yeah, uh, welcome to Chicago, folks. Um, you know, of course, you know, with uh, the pandemic and all, it's very hard to travel. So, you know, we're able to uh, go see things in the simulator we, mu we may not otherwise be able to see. So... The other part of our flight late today, uh, after Mixfield, we're going to be heading up to uh, Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Um, now, Oshkosh, uh, as some of you may know, is very popular because there is uh, generally a big aviation get-together there every year. Uh, generally, a lot of GA planes fly in. You have some private jets flying in, too. Um, and it's kind of like an air show mixed with um, a get-together all in one. So. Uh, it's a lot of fun, you know. Um, I haven't had a chance to go to Oshkosh yet, but once the pandemic's over, I'll probably consider going to go do it, so. I only live maybe three out, uh, two and a half, three hours away from Oshkosh myself. Down below me here is Lakeshore Drive. Um, this, this drive runs mostly along the entire city limits of Chicago. Um, it will lead you all the way up into Evanston, Illinois. Um, Evanston is very popular for uh, Northwestern. Um, probably one of the most popular uh, medical schools to go to in the United States. Uh, 
they also have a really good theater program too that was something i was really interested in doing when i first uh when, when i was first in college and then uh, i ended up uh, changing my major a couple times so Right, we're coming up on Makesfield now. I, I don't know if you guys can see it yet or not, but right there in front of me, that is Makesfield in Chicago. Um, now it's basically a whole bunch of nothing, essentially. There was some parking conversion done. Um, the entire field, though, for the most part, is just, it's, it's nowhere near what it used to be. So it's very unfortunate they tore it down. Um, they demolished it, but a uh, cool little airport, you know, to actually have uh, in the city of Chicago. We'll go ahead and uh, we're making our final approach here. We're going to get things slowed up a bit. We have our flaps fully depo deployed. Uh, and uh, we're, we're going to go ahead and try to make this a buttery smooth landing here at MIGS. Now, something interesting that I found out was uh, the premium version of MIGS Field um, does have a customized hangar that you can start in. And they've also... Um, customize where the parking locations were at and they did a few other things too uh that premium add-on is nine dollars and 99 nine, 9.99 in euro so it's about twelve dollars and three cents a us but let's go ahead and let's make this landing here at makes field currently on the glide path here Right, and we are down, folks. And we got Canesto that came in right behind us. Probably had to use the heck out of those reversers. I'm not sure if that is your uh, actual livery or not, but I really like it, that more to love livery. That's very cool. David Scott, is that, uh, is, is, is this how you remember Megan the Simulator? We'll go ahead and get things cleaned up, get our flaps put up here. And, you know, I honestly think we should get a group photo here real quick, which we'll probably go ahead and do. Yeah, it's, it is absolutely beautiful. I was really impressed with uh, how well this airport actually turned out. Um, and, you know, when Canesto brought it up to me yesterday on stream, I was just like, we have got to go here. We have got to go here and see what it's like. So really awesome. And we got 1480 coming in for the landing. He's trying to butter it in. Oh, is that better, David Scott? I haven't been uh, using the mic on Discord. I, I generally have myself muted on Discord, but I'll go ahead and I'll keep talking on Discord here for you too. Go ahead and uh, keep myself unmuted on Discord for everybody so everyone can hear me here. All right, let's try that really quick. There we go. There, I think I just found the issue on Discord, just to let you know, Canesto. Um, it looks like input sensitivity on Discord was set. Is that better? Is that better, David Scott? Okay, yeah. That's what I thought. So Discord... Mm -hmm. 
yeah, it actually kind of is better. Yeah, it, the there's an input sensitivity setting on Discord that was basically a quarter of the way up only. All right, 14. Welcome. Welcome, everybody, to Mixed Field in Chicago. Let's go and get a photo here of the entire group. Telling you, Canesto also really knows how to park. I mean, that is a big aircraft, and here he is, you know, just doing whatever with it. So I'll get a photo of, of all of us here. That looks good. Here we go. Nice. Very nice. I'll go ahead and post that up in the Discord here. And of course, if you guys want to, too, feel free to take photos here, while, uh, screenshots here while you're in Chicago. Um, you know, of course, I don't think anybody else will mind, right? So, all right, folks, let's do a little bit of uh, maybe a small city tour of Chicago now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'll lead us around here, Chicago, so that you can see what we're looking at. Yeah, and you know, I don't know if that's Canesto's real. Canesto, is that your actual livery? It says more to love on the side of it. Because if it is, it's freaking awesome. Yeah, I, I really like it. I really like it. I mean, you know, I know we, uh, neither of us, I think, are on the level of Mr. Pilot's livery count because I think, you know, he's probably got, you know, 100 gigs worth of liveries just for the A320 alone, right? So, all right. Let's see if we can go ahead and get a flight of four coming here off of Makesfield. Right. I am stopped. David Scott coming up on my left wing, and we'll have 1480 on the right, and then we'll have Canesta right behind us. And you know what's funny, guys? We're going to end up getting passed by Canesto on his takeoff roll. So, but he'll pass us in the air. He's good about that. So, no TCAS alert from him. We'll all be good. But let's go ahead and let's uh, make this flight as well then. So, let's get a photo here of the entire group getting lined up here. All right, this looks good, guys. This looks good. All right, here we go, folks. Let's go ahead and get this these birds rolling. Going to full power. Parking brakes are released. Takeoff power set. Yeah, I personally feel like, um, I feel like Flight Sim 2020, like, Zobo Studios and Microsoft went to some great lengths, making a whole bunch of cities look good, right? And then I almost feel like in a way, and I know this is going to sound crazy, correct me if I'm wrong, David Scott, but, uh, I know you remember FS98, but I almost feel like in a way some of the buildings still look the same as FS98. I mean, yeah, there's a little bit better texturing, but not really by that much. So, but we're currently in the air, folks. We're currently flying. Um, I'm going to go ahead and keep it kind of low here so we can go ahead and just explore the city of Chicago. Uh, one of our most famous places to go in the city of Chicago is Navy Pier. That's what we're currently approaching right now. Here's Navy Pier. We got Canesto flying directly over the top of us. This little strip here is uh, Navy Pier. And the Ferris wheel is pretty popular. Um, I've actually never been on the Ferris wheel myself, but um, it's basically like you know a lot of a lot of businesses, a lot of um, carnival food stuff like that. I'm gonna go ahead and dip here to the right as we explore more of the city of Chicago here. Of 
fly back towards the airport now um, because there's actually more stuff to look at here at Makes Field. If there's one thing I really like about FS 2020, it is the lighting effects from the sun casting onto water. Um, I think it's absolutely gorgeous. All right, so 14 AD, I know you brought it up earlier, but if you look uh, directly in front of me here, here's Adler Planetarium. Um, this is by far one of the most popular destinations in the city of Chicago. And we'll go ahead and cut back over here real quick. Directly below us off of our right wing is Shedd Aquarium. Another big attraction here in Chicago. This right here that we're flying over is the Field History Museum. And I'm going to go ahead and get a climb in here and do about a left 180. Right here is um, Soldier Field. This is where the Chicago Bears play. If I come over to the right, this big building complex down here with this big parking lot, um, this will actually be McCormick Place, um, one of the biggest convention centers uh, probably in the U in the United States. Um, so this building, the building over to the right, this is all McCormick Place. Um, they do a lot of other stuff here at McCormick. Um, they host um, they host a whole bunch of events. The Chicago Auto Show is hosted, hosted at McCormick Place. So it's actually a pretty large thing that they do. going to go ahead and now do a left 180 so we'll go ahead and get back up here on Lakeshore Drive so we can actually explore a little bit of downtown Chicago itself as well. I hope your frame rate's doing okay Canesto. I know uh, I, I know there's a whole bunch of buildings and textures to load so hopefully you're not your computer's not dying on us right now. to hear your, your, your computer's still doing good. All right, folks, so the tallest building in the city of Chicago, can anyone name it? Sears. Yep, yeah, well, it's, it, yeah, and you're right about that. So it would be the Sears Tower. Um, unfortunately, there was an ownership change. No one in the city of Chicago calls it this, well, everyone in the city of Chicago calls it the Sears Tower. But the ownership change, it is now classified as the Willis Tower. So the the uh, tower that we're currently flying towards is the uh, Willis Tower, formerly known as the Sears Tower. Um, at night, uh, they have two big radio beacons on top of the building um, that they uh, have different lights set up on for different times of the year. So Valentine's Day, they would do... Uh, they would do red, um, Pride uh, Pride Week, they would do Pride Colors. Um, there's a whole bunch of different things that they actually use those for. Um, but it's absolutely gorgeous, especially at night uh, when you see the Sears Tower. So that is the largest building here in the city of Chicago is the Sears Tower. And like I said, um, I really wish there would be some more scenery improvements to the city of Chicago. Because like I said, I kind of feel like this still looks very in a sense, FS-98. Um, I'm not saying it looks terrible, but it's not that great either. Uh, one of our other most popular buildings here in the city of Chicago, we'll be flying over here now. Um, let see here real quick. All right. Let's see if anyone knows what the name of this building is. It's the other building with an observation deck here in the city of Chicago. Uh, probably not nearly as popular, but it also sits off of the Magnificent Mile. The Magnificent Mile in Chicago is a mile-long stretch off of Michigan Avenue. Um, 
and it's mainly a whole bunch of shopping centers, things like that. The building we're going by right now in the left wing is that building. Uh, so that right there is... I just had it on the tip of my tongue and now it's gone again. Let's see here. I'm trying to remember. It's called the Hancock Building. So uh, that's the Hancock Building. Photogrammetry. Don't mind me. I'm fo frozen. <laughs> yeah, you probably had to hit that pause button, right? All right, folks. I'm going to go ahead and bring it down a little bit in here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start dropping into the buildings here. Um, hopefully... Uh, I don't get a pilot deviation from the FAA doing this, but uh, we're going to go and drop into the buildings so I can show you a little bit more about the city. This, folks, is the Magnificent Mile. Uh, most of this area here in the city of Chicago, it's all mostly tourist attractions for the most part. Yes, a lot of Chicago people do do it too, but if you look at the streets here in Chicago, they are really messed up. Um, I'm not saying they're that bad bad in real life because they're not. Um Somehow I just crashed into water. Don't know how that happened. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and restart real quick. I'm actually going to go to uh, KCGX probably directly um, so I can rejoin you guys here. Um, but the streets in Chicago, they really need to work on. There's some major scenery issues here in the city of Chicago. And like I said, it still feels very FS98 in a sense. Um, Migs Field, though, is absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's something that I've been wanting to see for quite a while and I just haven't been able to see. So... Um, it's definitely nice to actually have a different perspective and to be able to see those kind of things again because, you know, for David Scott and I, for instance, you know, it's very iconic because it's something that we remember from when we were, you know, flight simming back much earlier than uh, FS-2020. So, you know, it's been, what, 22 years now, 23 years now since FS-98 was released. So I'm going to go and slew over to you guys just to make things easy. All right, here I am. I'm back. That way I don't have to load back in. But yeah, this is the city of Chicago, folks. Oh, you're down again, huh? Oh, did David Scott just crash, I think? Or did he make it? I can't tell. We got 14. We got Canesto. You know, it's absolutely interesting, though. The Magnificent Mile, the one place you would think that they didn't mess up. Yeah, and that's what I ran into. It said I crashed into water. Um, so I'm thinking that may have something to do with the recent update. I didn't have that problem before. Um, it either has something to do with the recent update or it has something to do with mixed field. I doubt it's mixed field causing a scenery issue that far away, though, from the field itself. So, But yeah, folks, this is the city of Chicago. Um, right over here, uh, where we can see, uh, the gamertag Gary123888, that's Chicago O'Hare. Um, by far, that's one of the busiest Class Bravo airpo air airports in the United States. Um, really nice airport, though. Um, huge airport. If you remember seeing the movie Home Alone, the original one, the best one, because let's be honest, the rest were kind of just eh. Uh, but if you saw the movie Home Alone... Uh, Home Alone, actually, uh, they were they they live in the city of Chicago, um, and they were flying out of O'Hare, so they were rushing through O'Hare in the movie Home Alone. Looks like we got Canesto, we got 14 AD. I know David Scott will be back here to join us soon. David Scott, if you need to go ahead and slew over to us, go ahead and feel free. Uh, just use that Y key and your number pad flew over. Excellent. Yeah, Chicago's not too hard to find with slew. That's for sure, especially from Gary because it's so close and you just follow the water line all the way in. And we got 14 AD doing a low pass over everything, so you know. Uh, hopefully, he doesn't get a pilot deviation. I'm sure that I, I'm sure they're not going to care, though, right? So, it is 14. They're, they're very understanding of that with him.
Yeah, the interstate textures here are terrible, though. There's a lot of um, a lot of random rocks and stuff and yeah, boulders. That's very true. Yeah, there, there, there's a lot of there's a lot of random uh, random rocks and boulders on the interstates, and uh, the uh, overpasses and stuff are actually like straight up and down walls. Um, it really needs a lot of work. It really does. All right, let's go ahead and let's uh, maybe work on that flight here to Kosh. We'll head over to Oshkosh, Wisconsin's. Everyone good on fuel? I know Canesto's going to be good regardless. Um, 14, how are you doing on fuel? You going to be okay to make the flight? Not that far, but oh, forgot. I have to restart um, everything. I think so. Okay, excellent. moment when you uh, have to restart your airplane because you crashed it and uh, you got to get all your avionics going again because you know flu mode for some odd reason doesn't do that for you so we'll do direct to Kosh or try to Right, let's do this. We got Whitman Regional in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. We're going to go ahead and enter that in, activate that, so we can get a line to it. And we'll start to fly it here. I think uh, 1,200 feet will be just fine for a flight over there to Oshkosh, Wisconsin. It would probably help if I uh, set my PFD to follow the correct, um, to follow the FMS instead of following uh, a VOR right now, so. But I'm going to take it off of autopilot just for a minute while I remember how to do that on the G1000 suite. Oops, CDI. There we go. Got it. Okay, we're all good. All right. Pinesto 14, I'm flying direct now. 14, I think, has already got us beat to the direct... Uh, direct destination here. I'm going to go ahead and increase my power to 100%. Let's get this thing hauling. Oh, there's David Scott. He's coming in fast. I do not know if he is currently flying or... Oh, I think he's in the Mooney, guys. I think David Scott's in a Mooney or he's in some sort of jet. One of the two. Can't really tell what he's in, but he is uh, he's hauling butt. Oh, you're in the extra. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's a, that, that's a pretty nice little performance aircraft. All right. I'm going to go low and fast all the way over there. Hello, Complete Freedom. Welcome back to the stream, my friend. Um, if you would like, I know that you said you were uh, busy with uh, flying today. I hope that really went well for you. I definitely want to see some photos, you know. But if you'd like to, feel free to join us here. Um, we just made our trip over from... Uh, we, we just made our trip from Gary to Mixfield. Field. We did a full stop landing there. We grabbed a photo and uh, I did a little bit of a city a city tour of the city of Chicago. And now we are currently heading over to Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Oh no, that's no good. When it start this morning, huh? Oh boy, that's no fun. Well, you know, 
I I'm definitely glad you can make it to the stream at least. Uh, hopefully uh, you'll be able to get back up in the air here soon. Uh, Oshkosh, we're probably going to go ahead and do... Let me think here really quick. Let me check. See if I have the Oshkosh Adis really quick just to verify what they're landing on right now. Hold on one second. You know, I don't really think I'm personally worried about which runway we land on, um, but let me go and pull up a chart really quick just to verify the runway numbers again. It's been a minute since I've been up there. And I'll jump over here my flight planning screen so everyone can see what I'm looking at. I'm on Sky Vector, which uh, Complete Freedom and I both use quite a bit. I either use Sky Vector or I tend to use um, Chart Fox. Um, Sky Vector I use more for flight planning purposes. Um, Chart Fox I use for um, just basic diagrams. So, but if I pull up airport diagram here at Oshkosh, uh, Whitman Regional, uh, we have 1836 and 627 and 235. Um, generally speaking, I know 6 is pretty active as a runway, um, but just to make it a little bit easier, we'll go straight in for 3-6. Um, Oshkosh is right directly off a lake, uh, off a uh, area of water as well. Ooh, Din Din, what you making complete? Yeah, you know, honestly, um... It's only a nice day here in the simulator because, you know, I set clear skies, right? If it wasn't for me setting clear skies, though, um, it's probably not really worth flying on the simulator even because uh, let's go ahead and just take a look at what live weather looks like right now here. There you go, folks. There's live weather. Welcome to the city of Chicago that just recently got 18 inches of snow in the last few days. Um, none of us are happy about it. Um, we really want just, uh, the rest of this, we, we, we just want the world to kind of shut down for a bit while we, uh, mows in our, uh, while we mows at home and sleep, so. Flying tomorrow night, weather pending. Okay, I got you. Well, hopefully you'll be able to get out there soon and be able to enjoy the flight. So, yeah, right now we're currently uh, probably as far north as we are. We're probably in Evanston, actually, uh, which is home to uh, the home to the college campus Northwestern. Um, but yeah, we ended up flying from Gary Chicago Airport, which is Gary, Indiana, to uh, Migsfield, and then from Migsfield we're flying up to Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Um, actually complete, I'm in Northwest Indiana, but I live about, um, an hour away from the city by a car. Um, and I used to do a lot of Lyft and Uber in the city of Chicago, so I know the city really, really well. But yeah, basically, you know, if, if, if you were to ask me, I generally tell people that I, I live in the city of Chicago because of that. I know a lot of people say they live in the suburbs, right? But, uh. I joke and I say I live in the Indiana suburbs because we're just that close. Looks like I need to remove that one from the, from the uh, bot here really quick. So I'm going to log into my bot here and fix that. Don't know how I didn't catch that uh, earlier today. Right, sounds good. We'll definitely grab up some of those in-flight peanuts. Um, also, if you didn't notice yet or not, um, we do have um, at the bottom here, if you scroll down a little bit, we do have some sound alerts that were just added. 
Um, hopefully those are working. I haven't done a test yet on stream, but I'm pretty sure they should be. So, but we do have some sound alerts if you do want to try to use them. Uh, feel free, you know, that's why they're there. Yeah, this will be a beautiful flight up here to Oshkosh. And for the most part, we just primarily follow Lake Michigan and, and again, I mean, it is a little bit in on land, um, but, you know, Oshkosh, like I said, is the most famous, uh, generally, uh, one of the most famous locations for aviators here in the United States because there's that big get-together every year. Ooh, the windows are starting to get a little bit iced up here. Make sure our pedo heat's on just in case. And let's turn on some cabin heat. Let's get this plane a little bit better configured. Oop, looks like I'm redlining the prop too. Right, we'll bring the prop back down into the green via the mixture. Yeah, we've got a, got a good bit of the crew here. It looks like we got a, quite a few people flying around the city of Chicago as well today. We got 14 AD over there. We got Canesto. We got uh, David Scott behind us too. Wait a second, 14 AD is passing Canesto. A14, I'm just gonna say this right now. You are passing plane with engines that are bigger than your aircraft so uh i don't know i i think 14 ad might be you know uh <laughs> oh yeah uh, yeah I'm going 118 118 i can't oh, believe it. my speed is like 105 right now i can't believe canesto's flying so, uh, at 320 <laughs> that slow oh don't make me go over there and invert to you <laughs> i bet you would though i bet you would yeah i just slowed it down to about 113 obviously so I pulled the prop back. I'm trying to be nice to the airplane. I don't want to overstress it this time. Yeah, but we're definitely tired of the snow up here for sure. We're, uh, we're wanting it to be over, and luckily it kind of backed off a little bit. But yeah, Monday and Tuesday, between Monday and Tuesday, we got about 18 inches of snow. Let's see what kind of uh let, let's see how far we're about out from the airport so it looks like at this rate of speed we're going to be about 57 minutes until we get to uh until we get to oshkosh That's right, that's right, that's what sound alerts are all about, right? And I figure, you know, if one of us crashes again, we can do this one.
All right, guys, I'll be right back here. I'm going to just uh, go grab something to drink and I'll be right back. Hello and welcome to the stream, uh, new viewers. Uh, currently we're flying from uh, Makesfield all the way over to Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Probably have our own little air show. We got Canesto, we have 14 AD, and we have uh, David Scott joining us today. So um, welcome everybody to the stream. Um, we'll probably be doing our own little air show over there. Uh, Canesto will probably do most of it, probably over flying the ground at a really high rate of speed inverted. Uh, don't be shocked. It is an A320. Um, somehow he has figured out how to make that airplane do whatever he wishes it can do. And he also is flying with uh, Cessna 172s right now. Um, slower than I am currently to get over to Oshkosh. So I, I haven't figured that out. Um, I don't even know if his autopilot theoretically works at those speeds, but um, he's somehow doing it, folks. He really is. Uh, if you haven't already, guys, do me a favor. Go check out uh, the crew. Um, we have a list of great streamers we like to call the crew. We all stream flight sim and hope for laughs, fun, and knowledge. Please check out and support Complete Freedom, uh, who's currently on his way to achieve his private pilot license, Mr. Pilot 222, which he's basically a professional Airbus summer. Uh, we got Slayer T, a professional CJ4 summer. Um, we have 1480. Uh, he's new to Batson. Uh, and he's always uh, trying to learn as he flies. Somewhat of a comedian. Um, and we also have myself, Wasi Guru. I do a lot of uh, CJ4 flying myself. So welcome everybody to the stream. Uh, make sure that you subscribe to those folks. Uh, also go take a look at David Scott. David Scott does a lot of... Um, he, he does a lot of uh, real world history. And he shows off a whole bunch of really cool airports as well. Um, I'll go ahead and drop him down here into the stream as well. Um, but yeah, folks, go take a look at everybody here on this list. Uh, they're all excellent summers, um, and we just all like to have a good bit of fun. That's the whole point of coming into Flying on Flight Sim 2020, right? Uh, we we want to have fun. We want to be able to enjoy everything that we're doing, and we're we're doing it. We're just we're just having fun. We're enjoying everything. If you want, folks, also feel free to drop in exclamation mark commands into the. Uh, into the chat um, that'll show you all the chats that quasi guru bot has to offer um but currently though folks we are currently on our way over here to oshkosh wisconsin canesto's already working on trying to perfect his airbus his airbus uh, showmanship skills uh he's currently doing a vertical looks like going up and now he's in a stall coming back down so um, but yeah, folks, we're going to have a good flight here to Oshkosh, Wisconsin. And uh, after that, you know, we may take some suggestions for where to fly next. Currently, our in-route flight time is going to be about 52 minutes. Um, if you haven't yet, also, please make sure you drop in an exclamation mark predict for my landing here at Oshkosh, Wisconsin. So I'm going to guess I'm going to probably do about 63 feet per minute, even though all my landings today have been absolute crap. Um... Especially uh, if anybody else has seen Oh, we got Canesto flying inverted directly ahead of us, folks. He is definitely getting that practice run in for Oshkosh right now. Uh, hopefully, um, we won't have anyone crash because if we do have somebody crash, this is what's going to get played on the stream. Oh, 
Oh no. Oh no. Yep. Yep. That's exactly what's going to happen. That's going to get played on the stream. Yep. Currently 14 AD. I do not have this flight set up um, in Sim Toolkit Pro. So um, I see really no reason to set these up in Sim Toolkit Pro unless, uh, unless of course, uh, we're flying IFR, some somewhat extended flights. Uh, mostly VFR stuff I don't do too much. So, but no, it's totally fine. 14. Um, that's the only reason why it's not popping up, but if I wanted to, I could pop it in there and it would actually go ahead and show the ET for the flight. But yeah, we've got about another 52 minutes left. I'll go ahead and pop that in there anyway, just for everybody else to make sure that, uh, they know about how long we've got until we're, uh, at, uh, Oshkosh, so... We'll go ahead and punch in Kosh, which is Whit Whitman Regional, and we'll uh, create a new plan. And Canesto's dropping the the uh, donuts, and he's dropping uh, he's dropping the love too. So wonderful, wonderful. I'm generating a quick flight plan here, guys. I know, I know, it's trying to get me to generate it through SimBrief, so. All right, I'm gonna walk the dog real quick, and I'll be right back. Yeah, feel free Over. to walk walk your dog. Just don't let your plane crash while you're doing it. Otherwise, you're gonna get that uh, Mario death uh, sound, right? You know when ATC asks you to make a right 360? That's exactly what Canesto's doing right now. He's making a right 360. Look at that. It's almost like he's flying a fighter jet. You know, guys, I'm starting to think at this point Canesto has modified the airframe of the A320 uh, fly-by-wire. And he's got some stupid, powerful... Uh, afterburners on that airplane right now because that plane is just doing things that it just should not be able to do but he's doing it canesto will do it you know i'm pretty sure if canesto ever gets a chance to there's probably going to be one day that he's going to be on a320 uh, a320 and somehow the pilot and the co-pilot are going to become incapacitated canesto will nope i think uh canesto just hit the ground guys um but Canesto will probably uh, end up taking over, and uh, he'll fly an air show for the entire cabin crew. Um, he will make sure, more than likely, that he turns on the seatbelt sign before he does it, and then he'll uh, have a nice, smooth, buttery landing. Um, I think he'll be a little bit confused, though, folks, because he's so used to that mouse and keyboard setup. He'll probably ask if they can uh, get him set up with his gaming mouse for landing before he uh, attempts to use that yoke. But here we go. We got Canesto again, once again, flying inverted. Um, as we're heading over here to Kosh, you know, honestly, I'm pretty sure he's probably also figured out how to get the autopilot to keep the plane inverted too. So, you know, he could probably, you know, just have that plane fly itself all the way there to Kosh inverted.
You know, Canasto, I think I didn't see your landing gear come down for that one. Um, yeah, I think you're supposed to use your landing gear to land, but I, I don't know. I could be wrong. I could be wrong, folks, right? Part of the reason why I'm in a Cessna 172 today, it's not because we need to fly slow. It's uh, more because um, I don't want to forget to put my landing gear down for an air show. So, but there goes Canesto again. He's already back up in the air and he's uh, already hammering it down. So, we got 14 AD, a good bit off of my left wing here. have David Scott with us as well. Oh, and here goes Can Oh! Um, pretty sure my plane just got sucked into his right engine and spit back out. So, uh, guys, it does happen. I think he's about to start uh, looping around my aircraft now. is looping around the aircraft now. Oh, okay, David Scott, no problem. Well, I'm glad to see that, you know, you haven't uh, completely left us yet. But yeah, we got, oh, and Canesto is now flying in formation with a Cessna 172. You know, I, I kind of feel like we need a, um, you know, I know exactly what we need. Give me one second here, folks. We're going to add in something here for the stream. Exactly what we need right now. We need another sound alert. Definitely need another sound alert. We have another sound now to play. accurate when you're about to be sucked up by the uh, left engine of Canesto's A320. All right, folks, we're 42 minutes out from Oshkosh, Wisconsin. If you haven't already, make sure you drop your predicts into the chat for a uh, descent rate there at, um, for descent rate at Oshkosh.
Thanks for the prediction, Canasto. We'll see how well we do here. Minus 20. David Scott's giving me some, uh, giving me a bit of credit here. Hopefully we'll be able to put that bird down pretty soft then, and hopefully David Scott gets it. And there out of my right rear window, I can see Canesto. Who needs rear view mirrors when you got an airplane, right? How much longer you got, Canesto, before you gotta go? Okay, no problem. Well, we'll understand that you gotta go. That's not a big deal. Oh, we got David Scott right below us, it looks like. Here goes David Scott. He's pulling up here. Almost makes me wonder, though, what 14's doing with his plane. I think he's flying some sort of weird route again to get to Oshkosh. Because he is way over there, juxtaposed to our direct line. He is... Where did David Scott just go? Oh, there he is. Okay, David Scott's still here. We haven't lost him yet. Nesto's just got... He's got that bird under such good control right now. That more-to-love livery. The best livery I've seen on that A320 so far. Such a beautiful flight, folks. Also, found a way to do a makeshift makeshift webcam, so hopefully by the next stream, I will have a webcam set up too. snow on the ground though I think we're all sick of the snow we just want it to go away at this point I think I'm gonna go ahead and put the hammer down here though maybe get a little bit more speed back into this bird how much faster we can get to Ashkosh. Looks like it'll be about 30 or so minutes now to get to Ashkosh.
and I'm hoping here soon that we'll be able to, uh, that I'll be able to join Mr. Pilot again soon sometime on one of his streams. I know he was taking a day off yesterday to do some testing, and now, um, and now I think he should be all good to go again, so I know the, these updates are pretty big, especially for Flight Sim, because all the packages are being replaced, essentially, every time they make an update, they're not doing anything, um, anything the way I feel like it should be done. Um, but, you know what, can't really complain when the sim looks this good, and I haven't had too many issues with most of their updates yet. Uh, my working title, CJ4 mod, is still working correctly, so as long as that keeps working okay, I'll probably be fine. And, of course, the Garmin 1000 mod, too, because the Garmin 1000 mod does make this aircraft a little bit more functional, especially when you're flying with that Garmin panel. But, folks, we're currently about 63 miles out from Oshkosh, Wisconsin, and, uh, We'll be landing there shortly, and then if you guys want, we'll go ahead and take suggestions from there as to where you want to fly, or uh, it's up to you guys if you guys want to just end the stream there, so just let me know. If you're new here, don't forget to uh, don't forget to drop that follow button so that you'll be so you'll be notified before we make our departures uh, every day that we decide to stream. Uh, currently, we're on a Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule from about uh, 2300 Zulu to about 0200 Zulu. Um, of course, that could change at any time, so just make sure you keep an eye on the schedule here on the Twitch channel as well as possibly drop in and join the Discord. Um, if, you, if you put exclamation Discord in to the chat you'll get our discord server invite so make sure you go and drop in there i would like to make sure that everyone's enjoying these flights so if you have any suggestions for the future for any of our flights make sure that you go ahead and leave your suggestions there in the discord server and we got david scott coming up on the uh on my left wing a little bit more. We got Canesto still hanging back there on the right wing some. We got 14 AD still a good bit there off to the uh, off to the west of us, but we're heading straight into Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Um, after this, we'll be taking suggestions as to where to possibly fly next, or we can end the stream there. It's totally up to you guys. So I know we've got other things to do in our lives, so you know, just let me know. You know what what your guys' plans are, and we'll keep it going if we uh, if you want to, or we'll go ahead and just end it there. Uh, currently, we got about 25 minutes left on this flight and about 55.7 nautical miles. Oshkosh, Wisconsin is really well known for their uh, for their fl for their events every year. So, you know, it is a big aviation hangout. Um, so keep that in mind. You know, if you're ever uh, interested in going to see an actual air show, that's one of the largest air shows in the United States. Head on to Oshkosh, you know, when they have them in the summer. And, you know, who knows, maybe this year they will uh, have Oshkosh under some sort of restrictions.
And I was just checking here. It actually does look like uh, Air Venture 21 is going to be going on. So uh, currently uh, they're still doing tickets. So uh, the event happens between July 26th through August 1st. Um, a lot of uh, private pilots end up flying up there. Uh, some private jets do too, just to enjoy it. Um, sometimes they're at the expo. They also have other events uh, that happen there. So uh, there may be other airplanes potentially getting revealed, things along that nature. But it's basically a big air show hangout spot. Um, probably one of the best in the country, if not the best in the country. Oshkosh is extremely well known for this air show every year. Um, they tend to park a whole bunch of your GA planes in the grass areas. Um, and of course, you know, any of the bigger planes like private jets and stuff, they, they do get the hard surfaces uh, during these events. But yeah, it looks like Oshkosh 21 is still going to go on with some sort of restrictions. So it'll be kind of exciting. And hopefully, you know, maybe this year I, I may be maybe even able to go. And if I am... I'll make sure to, uh, you know, get pictures, drop those into the Discord, and uh, we'll see here. Maybe here soon we'll have an Instagram account, too, so we'll uh, be able to keep everyone up to date as what's going on at the QuasiGuru YouTube channel. Well, QuasiGuru YouTube channel and Twitch channel as well, so thank you, everyone, definitely for the support. It's uh, definitely meant a world to all of us. Um, as I've said before, I think the Flight Sim community is probably the best community on Twitch. Uh, we're very supportive of each other. There is no, you know, high school musical drama sort of stuff going on. We just we, we just love to fly with each other. We love to see the scenery in FS20, uh, 20, and we're just, you know, here to have a bunch of fun. Um, I know 14AD uh, is flying with us right now. We've also got David Scott, and we've got Canesto in the A320. Uh, Canesto may have to leave here soon because of, uh, because of prior commitment, but folks... Um, we're currently uh, finishing up uh, our flight here to Oshkosh, and then after that, we'll be taking suggestions as to where we want to potentially fly next. Yep, I'm trying to get this plane going as fast as I can here. But yeah, we're currently about 22 minutes out from Oshkosh at about 48 nautical miles. So, But we'll be landing there shortly. They basically set off of their own waterway to a little lake. Um, so it's kind of a really cool area to be at regardless. Uh, Oshkosh uh, is definitely a really cool airport. If you've not been there yet, um, definitely head over to Oshkosh. Um, it may not look like much in the simulator, but I'll tell you what, that... Uh, event every year, that expo every year, that air show every year is just worth going to. Hopefully 14 AD will make it back uh, before uh, we end up landing here in Oshkosh. Otherwise, he might just be sitting up there in the air and um, running out of fuel. Hopefully that's not the case. We don't want him to crash. Um, but everyone, though, if you haven't already, take a look at the crew. Um, go take a look at David Scott's um, uh, Twitch channel as well. David Scott does a lot of history-related content um, when it comes to flying to different locations. He's basically currently on an around the world tour uh focusing on a whole bunch of scenic routes so keep that in mind folks uh beautiful places to be 
Uh, Canesto, go ahead and drop in that uh, Twitch ID for uh, for David Scott as well. David Scott back on the left wing, and we got Canesto still holding it pretty low there on the right wing. Thanks for doing that, Canesto. We appreciate it. And we're about 18 minutes out here from landing at Oshkosh. Yeah, I'll tell you, I think uh, FS2020, one of the things it does really well, though, is it does simulate snow pretty well, right? So um, even though it's not snowing out right now, the snow on the ground is pretty cool to see. Um, even on the runways, when there's snow on the runway, like you, you never see it 100% necessarily cleared off. So I'm pretty impressed with the way FS2020 handles uh, different dynamics and textures like snow. Looks like Ernesto may have already left us. Not 100% sure there, but we definitely still have David Scott and 14 AD with us. You know, 14 had to go do a couple things, and he said he would be back, so. You are still here, okay, because I just don't see your airplane anywhere. Did you leave the sim, or are you still in here? or he's looping around me and I just don't know that. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, because I know you got to get going, so. Oh! Yeah, you are here. You're now directly off of my left wing. Okay. Okay, I see ya. Yeah, David Scott directly behind us. We're flying like this little uh, triangle pattern there for a second. I know, David Scott, you're probably going to be doing a lot more. Um, I'm guessing you'll probably do be doing a lot more mixed field flying now that you got the uh, not now that you got uh, the add-on, right? Exactly. Yeah, you know, folks, I think that's one of the most brilliant things, though, about this simulator. I mean, you know, we're able to bring in things that once used to exist. And, uh, you know, even though Makesfield in Chicago, in most in most uh, people's minds, should have never been destroyed, um, at least we're able to bring it back here in Flight Sim 2020, thanks to developers that are willing to, you know, create the scenery and you know, put the runway there. Um, it's definitely uh, been nice to have add-ons like that because it's just, it makes the simulator so much more fun, especially when, you know, David Scott and I, for instance, are really accustomed to that airport because of Flight Simulator 98 and prior simulators to, prior simulators to 98 even. Um, so I know in 98, that was one of the only airports you could fly out of. So it was really cool to be able to see the city of Chicago 
and to be able to see some of the tourist attractions today and also be able to see an airport that just hasn't existed since 2004. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, yeah, I, I, you know, it's just, it's, it's one of those things that, things that, you know, touches your heart. You know, I mean, you know, your emotions get going all crazy. I know the last stream we ended up flying some really, really scenic routes, which was really awesome. Um, but sometimes the most basic of things, like an airport that's been demolished, right? Those, those sometimes touch your emotions the most too, because you're like, I remember this. I remember this so well. And, you know, you start to wonder why did, why did cities, you know, get rid of some of these airports? Um, because by far, you know, it was one of the coolest airports to fly into in the city. I mean, you know, if you were flying private, it was one of those airports that, you know, you were directly in the city. You know, you, you would call a cab from, uh, call a cab from that airport and you could be almost anywhere in the city within 15 to 20 minutes because you were already in downtown essentially. Juxtaposed to if you go to Midway or O'Hare, Midway, depending on traffic, you're a minimum of 25 to 30 minutes before you get somewhere in the city of Chicago. O'Hare, you're almost an hour out from anywhere in the city of Chicago and that's if there's no traffic. So, you know, there, there's a lot of things that make you wonder why would why would a city like Chicago decide to demolish an airport like that? But then again, you know, why are a whole bunch of historic sites being demolished anyway, you know? Um, it's unfortunate. Um, there's a lot of things, you know, I'd like to see change, especially in cities like Chicago. But, you know, at least we're able to recapture this event from add-ons here in Microsoft Flight Simulator. And we're currently 27 miles out from uh, from Oshkosh, I believe. Even we may have the airport in sight already because of how um, clear of a day it is. Um, but we'll be landing on runway 36. Um, and then from there, uh, everyone can decide if we want to continue going, if we want to maybe go somewhere else, or uh, we can end the stream there. But I do want to thank all of you that have joined me on the stream today. David Scott, 14 AD, Canesto. Um, Mr. Pilot earlier, uh, I did see also that we had Countryman51 follow the channel, so it's excellent that, you know, we're getting more followers right now, too. Yep, absolutely. I, I thought you'd probably see it, but yeah, I'm seeing it, too. Um, but yeah, it's, it's so, it's so great to see, you know, that we've got all these, uh, all these additional people coming in here, too, as well. Um, Complete Freedom joined in for a bit. I know he said he was going to be lurking. We have Zelda Lover that was going to be lurking. Uh, probably, you know, scrounging up all those in-flight peanuts that you can. Also, folks, if you have any suggestions for what you want channel currency used for, please let me know in the Discord, and I'll go ahead and start adding some of those, too, as well. Um, I will have probably a makeshift webcam set up for Friday. Um, I did find an app for my phone that would let me use my phone as a webcam, so hopefully I'll have that set up by then. Um, I was working on a makeshift mount to uh, mount it to between my soundbar and my television uh, that I use as my third display, which I keep OBS on. So once I can get that makeshift mount done, um, I should be able to have a webcam then on stream as well. So you'll all be able to see the face behind the Quasi Guru Twitch channel. But like I said, once again, everybody, thank you for joining us on this flight. Uh, we're currently 11 minutes out from the airport. Um, we'll be landing at Oshkosh uh, Whitman Regional. And uh, like I said, from there, we can decide if we want to keep going or we can end the flight there. But I do want to thank everyone for joining me tonight on the Quasi Guru Twitch channel. And, you know, it's almost the perfect time of day to fly too, right? Because, like, even with the time... Well, I guess the time's not exactly live because it's saying 546. Realistically, it should be six. Yeah, there we go. That's live time. So let's go back an hour so we can just enjoy the sunset here. As we come into the airport. All right, Canesto, go ahead and get, get up there. Put those engines to full throttle. Get yourself down and... Uh... Excellent, 14. I'm glad you just got back in time, so... Um... I hope you're not too far behind us now. I haven't seen you here. I mean, I see you on the map, but barely. 
Um, David Scott's keeping a relatively uh, David Scott's keeping it relatively close. Uh, definitely doesn't use autopilot. He likes to hand fly the entire time. Can't blame him though. Um, but yeah. Oh wow, wow. Yeah, that that was that was pretty cool. Uh, Canesto is going in for a quick landing there. Uh, he sped it up pretty significantly. He's trying to get over to Oshkosh so he can get landed. He's got some prior engagements he's got to get in for. So, but he's going to go ahead and land it, and then at that point. Um, We'll make our landing, and if you want, we can go somewhere else, or we can go ahead and end the stream there. But like I said, everyone, thank you for joining in tonight. Thank you, Fortune AD. Thank you, David Scott. Thank you, Canesto. Thank you, Zelda Lover. Thank you, Mr. Pilot222. Thanks, Complete Freedom. Um, and also, thank you, Countryman51, for the follow here uh, when we first started. So I'm really grateful to have you all on board, and uh, hopefully um, we will have a wonderful stream here on Friday coming up. Um, I'll probably be starting that stream around uh, 6 o'clock Eastern, once again, 2300 Zulu. Uh, that one's going to be a little bit longer. I'm probably going to plan on doing a VATSIM tutorial with anybody that would be interested. Um, or, you know, we can also do it as a Your Control slide as well. So, if you want to join in on that stream, we can do a Your Controls with VATSIM. And we can, you know, work over some ATC lingo, especially if you're in one of those positions where... Um, you're not 100% sure you want to do it, you want to try it out before you do it, um, there's always that option. So uh, just keep that in mind, folks. I, I know a lot of people are very, um, very timid of wanting to get on to VATSIM or get on to Pilot Edge, but that doesn't mean that you have to be. Um, but yeah, if you want to join me uh, for that stream too on Friday, we'll be doing that. We'll be flying from uh, Gary Chicago Airport to uh, Dulles International in uh, Washington, D.C., um, I believe on that flight, uh, we'll probably be somewhere around, um, flight level, uh, I'm guessing we'll probably be around flight level, uh, 41, uh, 410. So, um, but we'll be heading over to Dulles International from Gary. It's about a three hour, fl three hour and 45 minute flight on airtime. Um, but yeah, you're definitely more than welcome to join. Also, everyone, I just want to point this out. 1480 just made affiliate yesterday, officially. He uh, he had his first affiliate stream, so if you haven't yet, go ahead and take a look at 1480. Uh, 1480 is another wonderful streamer. He's uh, definitely learning a lot. Um, he never claims to be a professional, but he wants to learn, and that's, as far as I'm concerned, one of the coolest things about the sim community. You know, you don't have to be a professional to actually fly on the simulator. Um, but the one thing you can do is, though, you can learn a lot. And in the Twitch community alone, the Flight Sim community teaches everyone a lot of different things. Um, so welcome, 1480, to the Affiliation Nation. And uh, I hope to see some more great streams from you coming soon as well. Um, we can also possibly do some collaboration streams in the future. And if you're even interested in your controls, um, your controls flight, we can also do that as well. So... Uh, but yeah, I'm definitely excited for 1480. 1480 is doing really well. Uh, Canesto um, was having computer issues yesterday, but it looks like they were all heat-based, so he's starting to do a little bit better, too. All right, 14 sounds good. So um, if you want to join in then on a Friday at 2300 Zulu, it's going to be about 6 o'clock Eastern once again. Um, we can go and get that set up. Uh, I would like to do some practice with your control since I haven't done that yet, but um, I can at least... Um, show you guys how how to actually have multiple people on VATSIM that are not in the same room uh, using it together. Um, that is something that's possible. It's something that's been done for quite a while. Uh, it does also help when you know you do have a second person on board, especially for um, for being able to help with uh, help with some of the load. So the workload coming from the aircraft. So but yeah, absolutely 14. Let's go ahead and let's do that on Friday then. Well like so we'll do that flight from Gary to uh, Dulles International. Also, what is Dulles International famous for, folks? Does anyone know what Dulles International is famous for in Hollywood movies? Canesto, do you know about what time you're planning on streaming? Okay. 
Yippee ki yay. Can't say the last bit, it may not be uh, very appropriate. International Airport was in the movie Die Hard 2. When the uh, it's basically when uh, the airport got hijacked um, by terrorists. So, but yeah, Dallas International is in the movie Die Hard 2. All right, folks, looks like we're approaching uh, Oshkosh here. It's directly straight ahead of us. I'm going to go ahead and disengage the autopilot. We're going to go ahead and get lined up for runway 36 for landing. Let's go ahead and start to get some things configured too. Let's get our landing lights on. Our fuel pump is on. I should have turned it off earlier, but I didn't. Let's go ahead and get our mixture put to full rich. And we'll make this flight straight into runway 36 at... Uh, we'll make this flight straight into 36 of Ashkosh. I'm telling you, Slur T would have really enjoyed this flight, you know, guys. It's uh, definitely Sunshine Club material, right? We got David Scott on the left wing. Looks like he might be potentially even making that landing before us, so. Let's start getting some flaps out here before we land. Yeah, I believe um, what we'll probably go ahead and do then is on Friday, if you want to do your control flight on 14, we'll go ahead and do some VATSIM stuff. And uh, if anybody else wants to join in on VATSIM as well, they can. Um, that flight specifically, though, we will have traffic turned off. So we will not see name tags above anybody. Um, that way we can just make sure that we only see VATSIM traffic, especially coming into Dulles, because uh, Dulles is a pretty busy airport and... If I'm right at about that time of night, we should have somebody on Batsum too. So that was part of the reason for planning a Dulles flight. And we got David Scott coming down for the landing. I believe my landing lights are turned on. Uh, they should be. All right. Yep. We got landing lights on. Right, let's go ahead and get this bird slowed up for the approach. And, you know, of course, if you want some trap, if you want some practice, you know, coming into an airport, right? Um, you know, you can you can always repeat it to yourself, right? So, um, let's say this was an uncontrolled airspace, it would be Oshkosh traffic, Cessna seven three Hotel Papa on a three-mile final for runway 36 Oshkosh. I do it a lot, even when I'm not on that some. I, um, I generally do my call-outs anyway, just to keep uh, in practice, at least for ATC, when I am on that some. All right, we're pulling the power back. We're going to make sure our flaps are all the way out. We're a little bit high because we got four whites. We need two red, two white to be on the glide path. Coming down here. Definitely tell we got live weather on because I am getting some wind here. 
runway is also very much so covered in snow. All right, we are directly on the glide path coming down. Here we go, and we're coming in for the landing. All right, folks, hopefully you got your predictions already in for this landing. I don't know how smooth this is going to be, but we're going to try our best here for a smooth, successful landing here at Oshkosh. I'm going to pull the power all the way back. We're going to go into the flare. I think that was a little bit harder than I wanted. Oh, look at that. Looks like I won the guess there, but uh, yeah, we just landed at 60 feet per minute. So essentially still butter there in the uh, in the Cessna. That was a good landing. That was an excellent landing. And we got 14 AD making his landing next. We got David Scott over flying the runway a little bit. He did a touch and go, and now he's doing his own little air show. All right, there we go. We're down. Go ahead and give 14 AD some uh, fame here. Right, we got 14 AD coming in. See how well he does for us. Here he comes. Here he comes, guys. Looks like he's got his landing light on, too, just like he should. He's coming down for the landing. Very smooth so far. Smoother than my camera work, obviously. All right. Pull those throttles back, go into the flare, and we got butter. We got a butter landing there for 14 AD, everyone. Wonderful job on that touchdown, 14. All right, everybody. It was a very good flight. Thanks for coming along. Thanks, 14AD. Thanks, David Scott. Thanks, Canesto. I know that you've uh, taken off on us to go do your uh, other commitments. It's great. Um, thanks, Mr. Pilot222. Thanks for Complete Freedom for coming to join in and lurking, lurking a little bit. Thank you to uh, Zelda Lover. Thanks to uh, Countryman51 for the follow earlier. We do appreciate it. We uh, all had a wonderful flight. Um, we ended up flying from Gary, Chicago to Miggs Field in Chicago, which was demolished back in 2004. But the wonderful flight sim community has given us the opportunities to enjoy the airports once again. So I want to thank everybody for joining in today. Uh, thank you for joining in on the stream. And Friday uh, at 6 o'clock Eastern, 2300 Zulu, 5 o'clock Central, uh, we're going to be doing a VAT sim flight. Uh, from Gary Chicago Airport to Dulles International in Washington, D.C. Um, so if you see Bruce McLean there, uh, we may want to wait to land because they may be setting up some weird ILS stuff for us. So uh, let's let's make sure that we, you know, pay attention to that, right? Thank you so much, Canesto. We're glad you were able to join us tonight. Um, enjoy it. And they'll tell you what, we'll definitely join you in on your stream tonight, too, then. So... We're definitely excited about that. Thank you, everyone, for joining tonight. Um, I hope everyone has a wonderful night. Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and end it here, though, because uh, Canesto will be streaming a little bit later tonight. Uh, David Scott, I think. I'm not 100% sure. I don't know if David Scott's streaming or not. I don't know if you want to drop into the chat and let us know, uh, but I'm pretty sure he might be as well. Uh, 1480, come on over here with David Scott and I. Let's go ahead and get a photo before we uh, end the stream here. And uh, thank you, everyone, for joining tonight. Um, also, we did add a few things to the stream. 
Uh, we did change our intro and our outro theme, and we also uh, will be uh, throwing in a makeshift webcam here probably for the next stream as well, so you can at least see the uh, face behind the Quasi Cougar Twitch channel. Um, thanks everyone for joining. Uh, I'll get a picture of all of us here really quick. Um, we have David Scott there, we've got 14 AD, and we have Quasi Guru, me, myself. Uh, thanks everyone for joining in tonight. Um, let's uh, have let's have a good stream uh, come Friday. Canesto will be streaming later tonight, so make sure you stop by Canesto's channel if you haven't already, folks. Uh, I'll go ahead and drop in some links here for the crew. We have. A list of great streamers we like to call the crew. We all stream fight sim in hopes to laugh, fun, and knowledge. Please check out and support Complete Freedom, Mr. Pilot 222, Slayer T, 14 AD, and me, myself, Quasi Guru. If you haven't already, make sure you also drop a follow. That way you get notified before we uh, take off and depart on the next stream. Uh, thank you, everyone, for joining in tonight. Um, have a wonderful rest of your night. Uh, Canesto will be streaming later tonight, so let's make sure we keep an eye out for him. Uh, 14 AD also just recently made affiliate. He just uh, got affiliate yesterday. So if you haven't, go take a look at uh, his VOD from yesterday. We had a really good flight there too as well. So, but everyone have a great night. Have a wonderful rest of the night. Ha have a great rest of your week. And hopefully we get no more snow and ice up here in the Chicago area. Have a great night, guys. Quasi Guru out.